We do have Sam Shanklin with us. Sam, I have to uh, ask you about this moment. You had a golden opportunity at move five. You could yeah. have taken on B2. Take us through that this moment. Did you realize that you could have taken on B2? What's your reaction? To that? Unless, is that not just a draw after knight B5 or what did I miss? Was knight B5, knight E4? Uh, that's the one, isn't it? I don't know then, so yeah, I guess I just missed a win in one move. I thought this was just theory and that I was supposed to, if that queen v2 is always a draw after knight b5 and I wanted to play, but apparently this just wins in one move and I'm too stupid to see it. Is that what you're telling me? Not the stupid part. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put words in my mouth. Look, you trusted Andrew in that moment and you played g6, but yes, queen takes b2 wins on the spot. After five moves. Okay, you should just kick both of us out of the tournament. <laughs> I mean, that's really bad. <laughs> but you did play g6. You still had a good position. Take us through the remainder of the game after that. Did okay, you feel so at any point you were on the brink of a victory? Yeah, I think Andrew just played really terribly until he needed to find only moves and then he found them all, uh, was my sense. So, for example, the most critical, mo the first critical moment was after I played knight d5. Um, so, yeah, there it came knight d5, and then I thought bishop c4 was very stupid and he should play knight b3 instead. Uh, because here I think he's just worse after h6. After knight b3, I was thinking h6 and bishop d2, it's probably about equal or that's, so. But that's after the move. bishop c4. Yep. Yeah, I couldn't find anything great there. After bishop c4, h6, I thought this was just fantastic for black. After bishop d5, hg5. And here the question was, should I have played d5 or not? Because g4 was also possible. And after g4, I thought he can go d5 himself. Bishop takes b5, bishop takes b5. And I don't know, maybe I'm slightly better here, but I wasn't super convinced. For example, knight f6, fg4, knight d5, and knight c4. And I didn't think this was anything too special. Um, you write maybe I'm that. slightly yeah. better, I don't know. No, you're right. Uh, so I played d5 and e5, and I think here if Andrew doesn't do exactly what he did, he's going to be in huge trouble. Uh, but he defended it very well with knight b3. Um, yeah, I think knight b3 was the only way. And then I underestimated this knight b takes d4, and somehow here he's, he's getting away, and he should be holding pretty easily. Then the next critical moment came when he played f takes g4, which I think was a very bad move. Um, here, uh, if he does like anything else, I think like just net rook a8 first and then fg4, or or knight e6 and fg4, it should just be dead draw. Like I don't really think there's anything to be said. But after he plays fg4 here, and I can take on a1 and then play knight takes d4 and rook c4, I have everything to play for. And then the only question is if I ever had something in this rook end game. It's very very close, but I did not see a clean win. So and there was no see. clean win. Actually, he defended accurately yeah. all the way until the end. After so this. yeah, and just yeah, because after b5, rook c6, yeah, I covered. I just came out with theoretical rook end games, and I covered a very similar position to the one we ended up getting. So yeah, rook h2, rook b5, and. I believe my only chance, I cannot possibly throw my pawns. My only chance should be to try to um, connect my king with the b-pawn and take it. And what it comes down to later, if we go to like the spot where he got the, where I played rook takes b7, let's say. Um, yeah, so here and then around here, up to here, like if, uh, so rook f4 is only move, of course. If my rook gets to f5, the game is immediately over. Um, and after rook f4, could I have played rook b5 check, the computer says, apparently? I'm curious. I rook to b5, I didn't think so. king to g4. So, hang on, how does king f6 lose? King how does f6, king f6 lose? Just, uh, king to b7 only move, by the way. And rook, and rook f1? What's the point? I couldn't figure out what to do Rook after f1, that. king to c6 now. And I guess you just go to d7. And then rook f2, and he just sits. What's the now point? Now you go to d7. Okay. And to and then, E8. Uh, oh, I see. And then king E8, and yeah, and, and I see. And he can never go rook E2. So and then I definitely should have played. Yes. Yeah, then I definitely should have played rook B5, uh, rook B5 check. Because if you give the position after 51 king G4, the computer says this is a draw, but there's only going to be one fortress. So F5 check. Yeah, so F5 check I play after king G4, and then king G5, rook B6. And now the only fortress that works for white, which is actually quite hard to find, is he needs to set up with king f4 and rook g2, or else he will lose. So for example, mm -hmm. here, let's say I go king c7. Mm -hmm. 
and I start to bring my king towards the center, sure, there, and then rook d6. I have a very basic plan. I will run my king all the way to, like, let's, yeah, so here he ha his only drawing move is to play, drawing it is to play king f4. King d7 is the wrong attempt to win. I should king play f4. king c6. Here. and Oh, here he doesn't need it, but I should play king c6. I should play king c6 instead of uh, king d7. This is most testing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and here, let's say rook g1 or whatever, and then uh, I go like king d5. He's going to need to find king f4 sooner or later because, like, basically, my if I can ever get my king to like somewhere sensible, say d2. Yes. Uh, if I ever get my king to d2 with his king on g5, rook d, king e2, rook d3, and I will win the game with the f pawn. Okay. So the goal should be for black should be to bring the king to d2 and the rook to d3 and then king to f2 and then black wins with so let's he just will lose the g pawn and the f pawn will go. Yeah, so like, let's say king c5, rook g2, if he's, yeah, so king c3, and now, yeah, let's say like here, king e2, and now he's dead. Yes. So, uh, it's, and it's too late for that. But if he had played king f4 earlier, then white is making a draw because after, uh, because he'll have too many checks and it's annoying. So for example, yeah, here, king f4, my king will not be able to make it uh, where it needs to go. Um, yeah. So... Yeah, uh, I, get this, I should have done this because it would have at least asked him to find this plan, but it is still a draw. Yeah, yeah. No, very tense game, uh, big opportunity, but still, this is only round one. How did you get ready for uh, this tournament, Sam? Because we know you need your energy levels for such a tedious and such a long event. Yeah, mostly I did a fair amount of physical work and just tried to get a lot of sleep. I have FIDE Grand Swiss right after this as well, so that's what, 22 games in 30 days. So I have a lot of games to play, and... Uh, well, I mean, I did normal opening work and stuff, but I really tried to prioritize rest and uh, just staying in a good mood and staying happy and healthy. That's usually the way to do it. Well, Sam, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Sam and Kate. Uh, take us uh, through the results and let's